December 16, 2013. In the last video, we were talking about the plankton being affected by the radiation and how it was dying off. And of course, that's the basis of the food chain all the way up to man. But guys, also plankton is produces the air that we breathe. At least 50% of it comes from the uh, phytoplankton, then you've got kelp and seaweed that make up another 10 to 20 percent. The rest comes from the forests of the earth, which are being rapidly depleted. Now, we know that, but suddenly since Fukushima, we've had this sudden kill off, and that's going to create a certain, a sudden depletion in oxygen. Now, this chart is uh, it's kind of different. It uh, deals with what would happen if oxygen were to disappear for five seconds, just five seconds. And I've got a reason for showing you this chart. It says everyone at the beach would be sunburned. Ozone is molecular oxygen and blocks the majority of UV light. Without it, we were toast. The daytime sky would get darker with fewer particles in the atmosphere to scatter blue light. The sky would be uh, less blue and a bit more black. Combustion engines would stall, of course. All pieces of untreated metal would instantly spot weld. It's called coal welding. Everyone's inner ear would explode. Every building made of concrete would turn to dust because it needs the CO2. Every living cell would explode in a haze of hydrogen gas. Water is one-third of oxygen. Think about it, guys. Without it, the hydrogen, tur hydrogen turns into a gaseous state and expands in volume, explodes. Now, that could be very important, but I want to compare some things with this chart. One is in Revelation 16 about the sunburns when the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun and power was given to him to scorch men with fire. Okay, oxygen depletion. We are toast. All right, the daytime sky gets darker. Revelation 16, the fifth angel poured out his vial and the kingdom was full of darkness. Okay. But And because of their pains and their sores, they repented not. They blasphemed God. Now, every living cell would explode in a haze of hydrogen gas. Paul said in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Now, what happens on that seventh trump? Now, look. And I saw heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no sea. The oceans would evaporate and bleed into space. Again, when you deplete the oxygen, it becomes hydrogen gas. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air in a great voice, the temple of a uh, throne. It was talking about earthquakes. Everything in the ground would immediately free fall because oxygen makes up 45% of the earth's crust. Every building out of concrete would turn to dust. All the cities of the earth would fall. So there's two things that I want to point out about this is the slow creation of more heat, darker skies, and the ability of the instant impact if God wanted to choose that for that moment of change. Now, 20% of the Earth's atmosphere is oxygen. If you go below 19.5, it's called oxygen deficiency guys and uh, that's where you need to carry the little tanks today's plankton and terrestrial green plots plants maintain a steady balance in the amount of earth's atmosphere of about 20 percent that's a mix with the other gases now all of the charts i've showed you were before the fukushima disaster now we have a rapid accel acceleration of all these things it says the current increase in carbon dioxide levels indicate that the cycle is no longer in balance the planet can no longer process all of the carbon dioxide. Again, that report, guys, before Fukushima, when we were going through uh, the pollution of the oceans, deforestation, and the uh, pollution from petrochemicals in the atmosphere. Okay, now Fukushima has put a rapid, rapid acceleration into this whole deal. Now, something else I want to talk about. And I was listening to Paul Begley today, and one of the guys called in, he's uh, like a microbiologist that uh, one of the satellite teams asked him to do some an analysis. They had had a satellite up testing this new extremely thick space dust that we're going through right now as part of the galactic path that we're through. But uh, so they did, it's kind of like Petri dishes that they rotate in and out of the satellite and it absorbs space dust. But guys, this one, he went out in the desert and got it. He called in today 
analyze it. It has what's called prions in this dust. It has heavy metals, and it has prions. Guys, that's mad cow disease. It is that type of disease. It's neurological. It gets in the proteins and the tissues, and uh, there is no cure. Now, we know about the plagues in the Bible. I saw another sign in heaven and great and marvelous seven angels having the seven last plagues for in them is filled up the wrath of God. Now, he said he's going to call back in and talk about this. But <clears throat> when you're dealing with a disease like this and it's coming from outer space and we're also about to go through Ison's debris trail. But it, it's saying there's about 200 tons per day of this dust and about five tons of it get settled to the earth's surface the metals injected in the atmosphere from evaporating dust particles are involved in a diverse range of phenomena linked to climate change cosmic dust is associated with the formation of noctilent clouds the highest clouds in the earth's atmosphere the dust particles provide a surface for the clouds icy crystals to form these clouds develop during a summer in the polar regions and they appear to be an indicator of climate change Guys on space weather, you can watch it, and they're very thick. Now look at uh, look at over the pole here, check that out. But again, space weather is watching that. So the more you see of that, the more space dust we're going through, the more comets, the more um, fireballs, things like that in the upper atmosphere, and the more of this is collecting. And that satellite went up and <clears throat> got part of these samples. And that's where this prion's coming from. We're going to update this, guys, and still working. Um, maybe I can get up the part two of the Book of Enoch that we're looking at. Heads up, be safe.